Hello and welcome every gorgeous person out there. <laughs> welcome to Angel Heart Radio, your safe harbour. I am your host, Anaya Joy Holili. I have a question for you. Have you ever spoken a word or heard a phrase of music, maybe a line of poetry and wondered, where did that come from? Jack Armstrong has been interested in the phenomenon of inspired writing or inner dictation. Uh, some call it channeling, some call it automatic writing. And it was in 1983, after he attended a meditation retreat, that he himself experienced the curious and mystical experience of receiving this inner guidance. And it just seemed to come from a source within himself, yet it seemed to be outside himself at the same time. The guidance was always wise and comforting, and because he was working in the alternative medical field, um, it was often health-related for him. Hello and welcome, Jack. Thank you very much, Anae. I'm glad we finally <laughs> made it happen. I don't know what was going on there. Welcome to Angel Heart Radio. It's great to have you back as my guest again. It is thrilling to be back again. It was so much fun the last time. It was, and that was back in April of last year, 2010, that we were on air together. And I still remember so many things about that program, Jack. Well, I'm, I am glad they've stuck. <laughs> yes. Jack, Lessons from the Source is your absolutely wonderful book. It's a spiritual guidebook for navigating life's journey, isn't it? That's the subtitle, and I've, I've tried to structure the material in there in a way similar to a travel guidebook, uh, and that may be a little hard to, uh, to describe if you've not seen the, the book itself, but yeah, that's, that's what it is. I really like the format, Jack. I find it very easy to read, and it, I like the way you've actually got some lots of white space in there, lots of gaps, so that my mind, my eye, can fall where it needs to, and... I'm, I've done it right now, and I've looked at uh, page 24, a higher perspective, and the first thing I've seen is you are so near and yet so far. When you have a higher perspective, you will see and understand clearly that your good, which seems so far away from you, is always close at hand, closer than you could ever imagine. And that has been a constant source of inspiration for me these past few days. Um, one of the topics I want to speak about today is uh, really rising up and claiming our good. And so look at that. That's perfect. Well, that uh, did you want me to react to that one oh, the, the piece or, that you read? or Whatever flows for you, darling, is what flows for me. I'd like well, to hear what the, you have to say. There are, there are. Let me just step back a minute, and and some of your listeners might not know where this stuff came from, and it feels important to me, at least, to to sort of reiterate that for the new folks. Um, as Anea said in the introduction, um, I, for a very long time, have been um, receiving some really remarkable. Um, messages um, about spirituality and life that are in the form of, of lessons, really. Um, and I kept them... It, it, it's, it's a process. It's the same process as uh, A Course in Miracles and Conversations with God and probably many others. Um, it's called interdictation and it's like taking dictation from thoughts. Um, I don't hear a voice, but the the thoughts come, and I just need to get my conscious mind out of the way and step aside and let this flow. And I write it out longhand, and it comes faster than I can write sometimes. And I usually don't even remember what I've written, and yet when it stops, it it's basically a, a document in its final form. And when I write stuff for myself, um, I will edit it uh, till it's worn out. But this stuff comes through in a language not entirely like my own, and, and it's in final form, and it all holds together, and it's pretty remarkable. Well, I have been doing that for um, more than 30 years, 
and didn't know what was going on. Um, I was not aware of interdictation. I wasn't really aware of channeling. Um, interdictation is indeed a form of channeling. Um, but I, I didn't tell anybody about it. I was afraid what they'd think uh, if I told them that I was writing this stuff that came from someplace else. And so I just, after I'd write something, I'd read it and go, wow, look at that. And then I'd put it in the nightstand beside my bed and forget about it. And fortunately, I kept them all from over the years. Um, And several years ago, actually about five years ago, I finally responded to the nudges that had been coming to me all this time that I needed to to share this material with other people. And, of course, I wasn't going to do that because what would they think? But when I finally got to a point of um, being able to, being willing to sort of come out of the closet, if you will, and admit that I'd been doing this and, and put it into book form, that all just flowed so beautifully together that um, that um, I, I'm still in awe of the process and the material and the book. And as I've said to you before, I don't consider myself to be the author of this material. I just am the scribe, and I'm passing along. I really understand that because, and I love the way you've explained it. And and. That well done. That was, about, that was my next question about this actual process, and I love the way you've described that, Jack. And it rings. I understand it. I've never really been able to put it so succinctly. Like, if there are fifty words to use, I'll use fifty-one. Right? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's one of my it's one of my one of the wonders of me. And having that explained that way, I feel is really beautiful because I know there are lots and lots of people around the world who are experiencing this themselves and they themselves are wondering what does it mean am I okay am I weird or something and in fact there was a really wonderful post on the Facebook page for lessons from the source so everyone please do go check out Facebook um, and if you go to lessonsfromthesource.com, you will find the Facebook button on each page. It's very easy to get to. There was a terrific comment made there um, by one of the people that visits your page, Lessons from the Source, on Facebook. And he said, one of the reasons I'm so inspired by your work, other than it being awesome, is because I have these moments myself in writing. I honestly thought I was just weird until I read your work. This article further helps me understand my art. Isn't that brilliant? Yeah, and that was that's very gratifying. And, and one of the many blessings for me that have come from being willing to let go and, and share this stuff is the number of people like that gentleman who have come forward and said, wow, thank you, I've been doing the same kind of thing, and, and I was afraid to tell anybody too, and I hid it under the bed. Um, and like you said, there undoubtedly are thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people around the world who are experiencing this process. And my guess is that very few of them are owning up to it. Um, and it, it sort of makes you wonder what other kind of magnificent expressions of spiritual truth and wisdom are out there in the world that people may never see um yeah i i really that that quote that you just read from that man um meant an awful lot to me and it meant a lot to me too actually because it when i see something like that jack it brings home to me on a global level how important we each are we're just you know, sometimes we feel like we're just doing, going about our daily business, doing what it is that we do, and we may not even feel that we're particularly making a huge impact. And then you see something like that. It's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah, and I believe that everyone has access to wisdom or guidance or creativity 
of some kind. Um, and it's a question of accepting that and allowing it to come through. I um, I see this kind of writing as a form of creativity. And when I think of creativity, I I sort of describe it for myself as a a phenomenon through which something that has never existed in the physical world comes through someone, that, that someone allows it to come through and out into manifestation in physical form. And that might be writing, it might be art, it might be architecture, it might be music, it might be designing a birdhouse. But it's all about allowing it to happen because I'm convinced we all have that access, but in different ways. I agree with you, and I really resonate with that, Jack. You have a wonderful, um, it's not really a newsletter so much as a, as a, you can, people can easily sign up on lessonsfromthesource.com for your inspirational, I call them inspirational hits actually, <laughs> that come several times a week, um, straight to our inboxes on our Email. One of the things I really like about yours, and I'm inspired about yours, Jack, is it's very short and sweet. It's not a big, long process of reading through. Because sometimes I feel that we have a lot of email come in, um, and I personally don't often get a chance to read all of mine. But yours I love. They're short, they're sweet, to the point, and they're totally inspirational. So I really recommend everyone go to your website, Lessons from the Source. Dot com, and on the right-hand side, people will see more lessons from the source. And you can subscribe to these wonderful um, inspiration hits, as I call them, <laughs> very easily. Actually, well, uh, thank you. I'm I'm really glad that you uh, that you appreciate them. They they are little quotes from the book, um, and uh, I I just finished one that's going to go up later this week, where I said, you know, I. Sometimes I almost feel guilty in a way for for sharing little excerpts because when you read the the book in its entirety, it puts those in a whole new context that makes them much more meaningful, I believe. Yet people really resonate with the individual quotes too. Um, one thing, actually, if if your folks who are listening um, the, and haven't gone to to that and signed up for the uh, for the email yet um, if you just on lessonsfromthesource.com go slash e hyphen book um, when you sign up in addition to getting these um, three times a week quotes from the book with little introductions for me um, you get an audio book I know hello there is an audio book coming out but um, you get an ebook that I did a couple years ago that is additional material that I had never let anybody see before, and it's not in the book. And there are like six different sort of complete lessons in there. Um, and I just felt like I wanted to begin sharing more of of what I've been given over the years. I mean, I have three ring binders full of this stuff. Um, but but if you sign up for the uh, the newsletter and the emails you'll be given a link where you can download for free this PDF, uh, and it's called More Lessons from the Source. But you can uh, see more about that on LessonsFromTheSource.com slash e book. Are you still there? Oh, sorry, I didn't realize I had myself on mute because I was typing in the chat room. <laughs> <laughs> Mention here, let's talk, now that you've mentioned about um, the new um, audio book that's coming out, let's have a talk about that. It's going to be a download, so it's going to be very easy for people to access. Are we going to be able to, is it just a download, or will we buy Actually, it on CD it, as well? I misspoke, because uh, there is going to be a different ebook coming out, but the audio book is now available. Oh, and okay, sorry, on, I've got my, my wires crossed, so I can see it right no, here on your it, website. No, I... I misspoke, but at the top of, of almost every page on the website, there's a little blue box that yeah. says 25% uh, audiobook discount. And you can listen to a couple sample passages there. Um, 
it's interesting. Ever since I published the book, people were saying, well, when are you going to do the audio book? And I honestly, I've, I've listened to maybe a couple audio books in my life, and I don't have uh, the iPod or other things where you listen to MP3s on, but it's clear that apparently more people listen to books than read them. So um, I recorded it, and one of the things I do um, on the side is that I'm a, a voiceover artist. So it seemed really natural for me to do the narration, and it is available as an MP3 download and also as a four CD set for people like me who, uh, for whom it would be easier to listen on a CD than a, than a download. <laughs> um, but but I'm excited that this is going to allow more people to experience the book and to take advantage of of this unique expression of of wisdom. Um, so yeah, it's been available for about a month, and uh, you can download it immediately. Um, and there's a 25% discount on for a while on um, the audiobooks and on uh, well on 25% discount on the audiobooks uh, of both kinds. So. Sorry, I'm That's rambling wonderful. on there a bit. No, 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 not at all. You're giving some great information. So I'd like to let people know that right now the four CD set is, in American dollars, $22.50 plus $5 postage and handling. If you're going to be uh, ordering anywhere outside the USA, it's very simple. I'm looking at it right now. When you go to buy now, there is an opportunity to select which country you are going to... Um, Actually, it doesn't work. It only has the United States. So contact Jack. I'm not sure how that's going to work, Jack. Um, that was supposed to work. Country. Yeah, no, it's not working. So that'll be something for you to go and... Which is cool, isn't it? <laughs> now you know. Yeah. And and if someone wants... Of course, the, the MP3, there's no problem with the, with the CD set. It needs to be shipped. And that just depends on where in the world you are located and, and what the cost would be. So yeah. if you can't get that thing to work and you and you're outside the US and you'd like to uh to get that set um just send me an email you can um go to the contact page on the website and and I'll help you figure that out fantastic and of course too because then the other great thing everyone is because when you buy the mp3 you purchase it so you can even just put it straight onto CDs yourself if that feels you know something that you want it right now um but it's always great to have the and the CD is beautiful. The cover of the book's gorgeous. It's so soothing, and I love this image of the big rocks and the and the uh, moss, the water, and there's a mist almost on that water, which is which is beautiful. Yeah, the 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 picture on the cover of the audio book is a, a more of a close up of part of the picture that's on the cover of the book, and I looked a long time for that picture. And wanted it to be a stream because water symbolizes spirituality, and there's a lot of stuff in the book about flow. And the stream comes from an unseen source, and it has a never-ending supply. And so it just it seemed like it it fit just right. It's beautiful. Okay, so we are going to a break in about four minutes in the chat room we have dream master one um with a question we will come to that once we come back from the break i think dennis uh, that'll give us more time to really listen um to what jack has to say about that what i would like to know jack if uh, you could share with us in the next couple of minutes is what was the trigger like you've you sat on this work for three decades is that correct yes what was the final trigger? If 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 it's longer than four minutes, that's okay. We'll go to break and come back. What was that final push? That final thing that got you over the line that said, "Yes, I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to release this work." It's an, a good and interesting question. Um, I had gone through a, a, a dark night of the soul experience and had moved to a different city and just sort of isolated myself. And um, and I spent a lot of time 
going through these writings and read other spiritual books and did a lot of meditation and so on. And um, there were a number of sort of transformative experiences, but this was one of them. And um, I finally got to a point where I could was willing to just surrender and say, okay, I'll do something. You let me know. And as I said earlier, I, the nudges had been there for years, and and I just resisted. Um, and but I knew that if I ever did a book, which of course I wouldn't, it needed to be these specific passages. And if I ever did a book, the title was to be Lessons from the Source. Um, but I never did anything about it. But it, but because of that self isolation and and focus on my own spirituality i um i got to a point where it felt good and easy to surrender and a contributing factor in that was my age and you know you get to a certain point in life where what other people think really doesn't matter anymore so that helped but it was it was basically the the, the guidance i was receiving mm, that's wonderful and you're right i i really understand that the I call this I call these years um, our wisdom years because that's how it feels to me. I don't feel like I'm getting older. I actually feel like I'm getting wiser, mm-hmm. and I have yeah the, the deeper connection to my own wisdom, which of course was there all the time. But being in my head, which is what I did for a lot of my life, uh, prevented me from actually really connecting with that wisdom. The more I drop into that, my heart, the easier it is for me to hear it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when we come back, we're going to. I'm going to ask you that question, whatever it was that I asked you before. Oh, yes, from the chat room, and I'm also going to share some more wisdom from the book itself with everyone. So right now, everyone, I would like you to really bliss yourself out on this amazing music. I'm going to play a piece from Faith Rivera. And this is called Beautiful. Please visit Faith Rivera at Faith Rivera, that's R-I-V-E-R-A dot com. This is called Beautiful.
Welcome back to Angel Heart Radio on the Angel Heart Radio Network, your safe harbour. Wasn't that just the most wonderful piece of music, everyone? Faith Rivera. Now I can love myself. I can look at myself in the mirror and know that I am beautiful exactly as I am. And it's perfect for me. I've actually been doing that affirmation a lot of late. Welcome back to our special guest, Jack Armstrong. Great to have you with us, Jack. Wonderful to be here. (laughs) <laughs> now, Jack's website, and it's a beautiful website indeed, everyone. It is uh, lessonsfromthesource.com. And I would really encourage you to go check it out. Jack's on Twitter. Jack's on Facebook. You'll find all those links right there on uh, lessonsfromthesource.com. Now, we had a message from Dream Master in the chat room, Jack, asking, I'd like to ask, and it might have already been mentioned, uh, how long has Jack been aware of his connection within source, with Source within himself? When did it occur and how did it transpire? So let's go back to how long have you been aware of this, Jack? Uh, the, the first experience with this, I, I have dated each of the writings, and I usually put the specific date. Um, the earliest dated one I have it was December of 1978, and I had no clue this was going to happen. There's, a, I lived in in Southern California at that time, and there is um, a place called the Lake Shrine that the Self Realization Fellowship runs, and it's a very peaceful spot with a with a lake and and a path around it, and and um, recognition of all the the major religions and I used to go out there just to sit and meditate and um, at that time that December of 78 um, for some reason I felt moved to take a pad of paper with me and a, and a pen and I suddenly found myself writing and it was in the first person singular and it was directed to me and I was totally confused, but I didn't stop. And uh, when that was over, I, I, as I said before, I just I, I found it fascinating, but didn't have a clue what was going on, and uh, and put it away. But periodically, over time, um, that same thing would happen. Um, the the material in the book, in Lessons from the Source all was written over a three-month period at the end of 1995. And um, I actually had been reading Julia Cameron's book, The Artist's Way, and she suggested and suggests in the book that you try morning pages, where she describes as getting up and, and writing three pages, whatever comes to your mind. I thought, well, that's interesting. And it had been a long time since I had done this kind of writing and maybe a a year or more I don't remember but uh, I thought well that's a good idea and I started writing and this stuff started coming through and I did write every day for three months and it's the first time and and the only time I had written every single day for an extended period and it was the first time that the term lessons began to be used Um, and so the material in the book is just from that specific period, but recently, um, since, since the book came out and, uh, I, uh, have been, I sit down every morning with my notebook and I'll know whether I'm supposed to write anything or not. And if I do, I just kind of get out of the way and it, and it comes and, um, I don't know if that's if, if that mm. has uh, answered Dream Master's question or not. Dream Master, I'm sure you will let us know in the chat room. Thank you. Um, and uh, and Anne Alexson is saying morning pages are amazing. And um, I've got to say that I haven't done that for ages, Jack. It's, and Anne mentioned this to me recently, so it's very synchronistic that I, this is a good practice for me to have each morning. So thanks for being the carrier, the bearer of that message for me as well. Oh, pleasure. Thank you. 
Um, everyone, lessons from the source.com. On the right hand side of, I'm thinking it's just about every page, I'm going to go check that out. You will find under a blue box, you will find beautiful, actually lovely kind of brown box. And all you need to do is put your name and email in there, and there you will be able to receive more lessons from the source. Um, one of the other questions that Dream Master also asked, um, how it transpired. Now, what I'd like to know about that, because I know you've given us a very full answer, but what I'd like to know about how things transpired for you, and I touched on it before, and I think this is an important thing for us all who have this um, you know, urge to do this. When you receive your guidance these lessons for me jack i call it the voiceless voice it's like hearing a thought how does it actually happen for you bless you i know jack has got a bit of sore throat everyone so it'd be lovely if you would flow some beautiful soothing healing energy his way that would be wonderful <laughs> um the way you described it is perfect um it excuse me just a second Sure. <laughs> I apologize. I just came down with a cold yesterday, and I'm fighting that. And you're on it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a cough drop in my mouth, and if you hear little clicking sounds, that's what that is. Um, you, you go ahead and do that. It's, it's a knowing. Uh, that's the only way I can describe it. There, there is a, um, a garden, not far from me, where. Every time I go there, this stuff just really flows. And there'll be times when I'm moved just to go there. But as I said, um, and it sometimes it happens other than the morning. But but I will I will just know. And and the interestingly, in the last year or so, I've I've started having two notebooks. And there's a purple one and a blue one. And the purple one I call the inbound and the blue one I call the outbound and the purple one is just the stuff that we're talking about the blue one is where maybe it's hmm, different from morning pages but it's my dreams my requests my desires my vision and I and I write them out and I find that 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 flows almost as quickly and as easily and effortlessly and without thought as the incoming stuff. And there, there was one point um, a while back where the voice speaking said, that's just evidence that this, this communication is real and you're, you're in touch and it can be – the communication can go either way. But um, – in the morning, I, I read a couple. Um, I have a couple books that I that, of spiritual wisdom that I read from, and um, and then I'll sit there, and I'll and the thought will. There are three possible thoughts. One is there isn't any thought. Um, two is purple book, and three is blue book, and I don't. Um, sit down with any anticipation about what that might be, and sometimes just nothing comes, so I don't I don't write anything. Um, but yeah, it's as I said before, our conscious mind is the bis the the primary the biggest obstacle to this process, and there have been times when. Something I'll, I'll not hear, but this sentence will be there, and I'll think, "Get out of here! That's not um, that's not what this is about." In fact, there's one of those in the in the more lessons from the source, the ebook that people will get, and it, and it started out, and it said, "Today we'll talk about cooking," and I thought, "Get out of here! What? <laughs> I'm making this up," but I but I went with it, and and it flowed this wonderful lesson about creativity and tied it into cooking and it so i've learned to just get out of the way and and what you said earlier about be 
being in your head prevented you from from accessing your wisdom. That's exactly it. I mean, we are, and the book explains it wonderfully well, I think, and, and everybody knows this, we are eternal spiritual beings having a simultaneous and yet temporary experience in the physical world. And the 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 challenge, the biggest challenge, I think, of, of our physical life is to reconnect with our spiritual identity, which is true, and sort of observe our life from that perspective because the the conscious mind or the ego or whatever you want to call it um, tries to figure things out and tries to make things happen and gets worried and gets stressed. And it's all because we're giving away our inherent power to some person who's upsetting us or some situation that has us perplexed or some general condition in life that doesn't want our power, but we give it away. And that's when, whereas you had said, we're, we're in our head. And when that happens to me, I, this process just gets totally blocked. Mm, same for me. Absolutely the same for me. And yet when I allow the process to unfold, it happened this morning, case in point. Uh, angellight777.com is, is one of my websites and I, I, I sat down this morning and I said to the angels, okay, well, what would you like me to write today? And they were giving me these words and I kept, oh no, this would be better. <laughs> I might write this. In, and I went for the, through this process this morning, Jack, of jumping in and out of my guidance stream and back into my head. And it was a really good um, experience because it was a really lovely um, explanation of the contrast of what it was like to be in the guidance stream and to be in my own thoughts around the guidance stream. So I really hear what you're saying. I've found that, again, it's, it's all about just trusting that this is real and it's happening and allowing it to happen. But when the incoming stuff is pure and um, for your highest good and for the highest good of anyone and there's no um, there's there's no judgment about anything that's the real deal but if we start and I've done it many times like I'll my a, a sentence will come through and you know I mentioned the other one at the beginning but I'll just kind of question it and often the the voice speaking through will say well you're thinking that blah 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 and here's the real story um so it i the my allowing my human mind in for a little bit to question something usually is is caught and and responded to it's it's fascinating Absolutely, and I, I think it's a good opportunity to really encourage people who are listening, whether it's right now or at some stage in the future, to, under, to really, if you can, embrace exactly what Jack's just shared. Trust it's real. Allow that process because that is the, that's the key, isn't it? For me anyway, that's the key. When I go into the trust, it flows and it's, automatic and it's beautiful and it feels it just feels right to me it's like this specific yeah. process may not be the way some people access wisdom um, you know there are various forms of, of what is called channeling but I, I really believe as I said before that the creative this is a this is a an example of creativity and this one happens to be writing spiritual stuff but I think we all have access to something out there I had a, a, uh, a friend long ago who was a novelist and he used to talk about how he would be ready to start a new chapter and he didn't have a clue what it would be 
and all of a sudden, boom, 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 and he starts typing, and, and out comes the next chapter. Well, that's a different kind of writing. He used to talk about this big pool of creativity that anybody can tap into if they just allow it. But I, I'm convinced that's the same thing when an artist has a concept for a picture that or a sculpture that never existed before. And and I'm not an artist or a sculptor, uh, but but I I mean, how did Mozart get the stuff that he wrote? Um, I think it. I think I would encourage people not to necessarily think I've got to learn how to do this inner dictation because it might be perfect for them and it might not be their, the way they're supposed to access wisdom or creativity or guidance and just. Be open to whatever it is that that comes through. That's a really, really, really good point. Um, Dream Master is asking how, uh, with your information, how it actually comes to you. Uh, is it the is it a thought? Is it a, a, a an inner knowing? How does it actually work for you, Jack, personally? It's it's a, a series of thoughts. It's it's. You know, it's called interdictation because it's like taking dictation from thoughts. And again, after a while, you get to the point where you can discern whether that's that thought is coming from a higher source or whether it's coming from your conscious mind. But it's oftentimes I'll I was going to say here, but I'll be aware of the first couple sentences before I even sit down and the um, and and then I just start writing as fast as I can and it's as if someone were dictating this material to me that it was that it was already in final form and it just needed somebody to transcribe it and and I'll know when it's done um, it just it stops um, yeah. But I, I think some people do this on their computer. I do it longhand, and um, and then I'll type it all up afterwards. But um, yeah, I don't. I, I hope that answered the question. Yeah, that's a very very good answer. I feel, Jack. Um, thank you for that. Erin is asking. Um, she would like to know who you feel the voice is. What is your definition of source? Um, that's another good question, and I I address that in the introduction to the book. And I don't know if I can find that specific passage, but um, I've yeah, here it is. Um, my assumption ha- always has been that the source of these writings is what many of us refer to as God. And indeed, that appears to be the clear implication in many of the passages. But I don't believe, I don't believe the specific identification of the source is as important as the lessons themselves. So I will leave leave that interpretation up to you. And and I don't think it matters, you know, if if it's coming from angels, if it's coming from your personal guides, um, it's 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 the content that matters. And clearly, in the in in my stuff, it's written in the first person singular um, to me, and and it it will as much as say that it's God or universe or whatever. But I don't I I don't think it matters. It's just this is this incredible expression of wisdom that really helps people, and. And and so it's 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 the it's the message rather than the messenger. There you go. That's perfect. That's so great. It's the message rather than the messenger. And um, I've got to say too that I really am enjoying everything that's going on in the chat room. Everyone, thank you so much, Jack. You've really sparked some great conversation in the chat room about how people receive, what it means to them. They're sharing and asking questions, which is great. So yeah, isn't it fabulous? That's yeah. wonderful. It's really, really wonderful because that's what it's about, isn't it? 
It's about opening ourselves up to all the possibilities and then seeing which ones actually fit with us. Yeah, yeah. Mm. There is no Are right, any of those questions no ones directed to me or are they just uh, sort of rhetorical questions? Well, um, I've, I've shared Erin's question. I've shared several of Dream Master's questions. And the chat room rolls on and on and on. I only get a small window to see what's going on. If, everyone, if anyone has missed having their question asked of Jack, uh, please do let me know in the chat room now. That would be wonderful. Jack's going to be with us only for another 10 minutes, and then we're opening the lines for readings. So if there's something you would like to know uh, from Jack, please do. Let us know now. Now we have someone in the chat room, Rev Rev Kev, Rev Rev Kevin New Thought. I'm wondering if that's the Kevin we mentioned earlier on the show with regards to the beautiful message that was left on your Facebook fan page for lessons from the source. That'd be interesting to know. Yeah. <laughs> Now, I'm looking at this page right now, and one of the things that you're great on Twitter. There's lots of Twitter um, comments and sharings on this page. So, everyone, please do look up Jack Armstrong on Facebook and Twitter via Lessons from the Source. His links are on angelheartradio.com. They're all right there on LessonsFromTheSource.com, as well as really easy ways to purchase the book, the audio book, the MP3. Everything has been taken care of um, to sign up to get more lessons from the source, which if you've just joined us, I love. They're short, beautiful, inspiring moments in my day. So there you go. Um, let's have a look. Um, Dream Master would like to know your thoughts on the um, outer dimensions, etheric entities and outer dimensions. I don't really, um, I don't have any. I, that's, I, I'm just, I, I'm not a, I don't consider myself to be a spiritual teacher or expert. I just um, get this stuff and share it. So, I, <laughs> I, 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 yeah. I, well, Dream Master has a lot of questions today. That's great. But Look, I Dream Master is amazing. Now, Dream Master is amazing. He has amazing questions all the time. He's got a very inquiring mind and a beautiful open heart. He loves to know and he loves to share. Now, there is something I would like to touch base with you on and that you mentioned self-isolation earlier. I think this is something that a lot of us... Oh, look, Rev, Rev Kevin is saying, I have the book and also love every morning receiving an email quote. Fantastic. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm glad it's helpful, Kevin. Be well. Be well. So self-isolation, you mentioned that earlier, and I think it's something that many of us go into. What can you share with us about your own experience with self-isolation and how you actually moved out of that? Well, as I said earlier, I, that's not something I had ever done much in my life. But um, the the dark night of the soul experience that I referred to was that I had just gone through a divorce after 33 years of marriage and and I moved to another city in another state and um, it that was the motivation for me I didn't want to go out and do stuff I just wanted to be alone and think and ponder and I um, I pulled out not just stuff that had come through me but but a lot of spiritual books that resonated with me and I'd I'd read them and I'd make notes and I'd think and I'd meditate and um I would say that lasted I mean I didn't never go out um and I but I I just really wanted to be pretty much by myself and I would say it lasted maybe about a year, and um, and it was interestingly, apart from the decision to do the book, I found suddenly realized that I had let go of a lot of stuff. I I wasn't afraid of anything anymore, and I still am not, and I almost never stress over anything. 
and I used to spend most much of my days stressing or worrying or doubting or whatever, and I don't do that anymore. Um, and I think that was one of the out, uh, the additional outcomes from that that period. Uh, I remember one day I I used to kind of kick myself, you know, in my head for not being able to live in the moment. And I remember walking through a woods and I said to myself, well, I don't think about the past anymore and I'm not really worried about the future, so I must be living in the moment. (laughs) But, uh, (laughs) you know, I don't know how you... I don't know how that's really defined, but that was my my experience. Well, that's wonderful. Uh, The other thing I really, really want to ask you about, Jack, is the mystical triangle that you mention in your book, Lessons from the Source. Uh, That's one of my favorite chapters, really. Um, A number of places, uh, and it had come through a number of times, that was referred to the, um, an equilateral triangle of joy and peace and love and that I still believe and, and that comes through to me that, that those three qualities are the essence of source and that we part of what we need to get ourselves to a point of being able to do is just to express that essence um, in whatever we do, and you know, and at one point it said, um, "If you're joyous and peaceful, you're going to be loving also. And if you're at peace and you're loving, you'll be joyous. And if you're, uh, I forget what the other two were, a joyous and loving, you'll be at peace. I hope I got all three of those right. Yeah, you but did. It, but, <laughs> but it's really true." Um, and, and when you think about that, it's, you, I mean, it's, it, that's true. I mean, if you can, and ideally, if, if we can be in those three qualities, which I believe are the essence of source, and live from that place, and it, uh, there's a, a little section in the book on the kingdom of God, and it, it, and it basically says, if you can, Accept and totally believe and, and live you, the idea of your unity with source, and you can accept that your good is always available to you. And if you can express those qualities, you're experiencing the kingdom while you're still here. Um, Perfectly said. And I couldn't agree more, by the way. I could not agree more. Now, the um, the mystical triangle is begins on page 73, everyone, on lessons from the source. So you might want to go and, and look that up in your own copy or get your copy and, and go and check that out because it's a very beautiful... Um, the whole book's beautiful, inspiring. I mean, I've got to say, and, and this is a book, everyone, that you may be like me. Just Mine is almost... It's got, you know, sticky notes everywhere. Uh, it's so used. <laughs> it's a book to pick up and open up. I would like to know something, you know, a message for me right now. Open the book. It'll be right there and it's always relevant for me, Jack. Yeah, and that's, I think that happens with a lot of good spiritual books. And and, um, and it, it is, as you've said, in these primarily little brief, mostly one paragraph or two sentence things, that somebody, when, when the book first came out, referred to that as, as bite-sized chunks of wisdom. and But a lot of people use it in that same way, and, and they'll keep it on the nightstand or carry it with them and and just open it and find what they need. I love that, bite-sized chunks of wisdom. I'm putting that in the chat room, and I'm going to uh, Facebook that as well uh, because I think it's wonderful. Jack Armstrong, look, you, it's so delightful spending time with you. I love sharing what you do with people because the feelings of peace, joy and harmony that it brings to me on a personal, in a personal way means that I can speak about this with such integrity. Thank you so much for being Thank with us you. again today. What a blessing 
to it was the real blessing the first time and <laughs> and uh this is equally I feel equally blessed and and please know how very much I appreciate your um enthusiasm for the book and your willingness to share information about it and um if any of your listeners um have specific questions that didn't come up um just go to the contact page on uh, on the website and send me a note and I'm it may take me a little while to get back to you but I'll I will I will do that and um Thanks. What a what a wonderful hour. And I apologize for not staying longer, but my throat really is giving out, and I think it's the better part of wisdom to uh, to just absolutely. And an hour is a long time. An hour is a long time. Thank you so much. We're going to keep talking about lessons from the source. Uh, Jack Armstrong, thank you. We appreciate you. We value you, and we really honour you. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Wow, it's just what a wonderful evening. We'll talk to you again soon. Okay, Bye. Bye-bye, Jack. Wow, everyone, isn't this just the most wonderful experience? And I'm going to continue on with lessons from the source. And what I, what I want to do now is offer you your own personal experience of lessons from the source. If you would like to call in uh, and receive a message from this amazing book, this beautiful book of bite-sized chunks of wisdom, which is called Lessons from the Source, call us now on area code 714, and one of the numbers is 583-6858, or you can also call us on area code 347, and the number is 202-0232, and ask a question of this beautiful book. And what I'll do is I'll open it and I'll read the message that comes through for you. So that way you can experience for yourself this beautiful and lovely and incredible book. But right now we're going to go and listen to some music. And again, I'm going to make this a Faith Rivera um, extravaganza. We're going to go and listen to Vision. And I think that's perfect, don't you? This is Faith Rivera, faithrivera.com.
Wow. Faith Rivera. Every single time I play Faith's music, I am moved so deeply. <laughs> and like now, it just wells up in me. The opportunity that we have to hold on to our vision and see our beauty and focus on our intent and our passion and our purpose and wow <laughs> look honestly I think I'm going to be known throughout history as the crying host because when I get moved like that it's an automatic response that I have and it just <laughs> it just wants to flow out of me and, and create rivers of tears and, and their tears of inspiration and joy and, and wow amazingness Okay, having said that, I think I've got, uh, I was going to say I think I've got control of myself again, but I don't want to have control of myself. I want to live in my moment. And if my moment speaks through tears of, of wow, such emotion, then that's it. You're right, Joseph, it is natural. <laughs> Heather Anderson, you are a strong woman, she says. Thank you. And it's a beautiful thing to be able to express myself to the world. For many, many years, I held everything inside myself. And I'm not doing that anymore, as you can see. I'm living big. And living big means being true, sharing what it is that's really happening with me in each moment that I'm with you. And it's a pleasure and an honor and a joy to do so. You know, when the angels first showed me Angel Heart Radio, they showed me this. They showed me crying on air. They showed me sharing my secrets that I'd held on to for so long. Wow. I was terrified. <laughs> Absolutely terrified but you know I thought you know I'm going to do this anyway it's a bit like Jack he sat on those messages for 30 years imagine that that man's courage and passion and faith and dedication he's a humble beautiful being on this planet who I really um, enjoy in so <clears throat> excuse me in so so many ways so, and you're right, Anne Alexson, authenticity, authenticity is a joy to see. It is. And this is what I'm hoping to inspire everyone with today by highlighting this amazing work that Jack has brought forward by sharing my... I mean, I could have just played more music, you know. I could have just not been here. No, I don't want to do that. I want to be real and honest and open and, and I love you all and I value you. And I see you and I hear you and I honour you. And I don't take you for granted. I really appreciate this opportunity to do this. To cry on here if I need to. To share what means something to me in the hope that it will touch something in you that means something to you in a beautiful way. Okay, I am going to play another song because I'm going to have a sip of water. I'm going to compose myself because we're going to be beautifully bringing forward messages from lessons from the source in the form of message, personal messages for you. If you'd like one, Joseph's put his hand up in the chat room. Please follow suit if you would like a message yourself or give us a call uh, on area code 714 and the number is 583 6858 and I'll give you your message live on air. We'll be right back. Right now we're going to go and play a song that I think is very powerful and relevant for this moment because this is where we've just been and it is called Be Here Now by the extraordinary and deeply loved Cosmic Evolution. Be Here Now. Here now.
Welcome back, everyone. That was the extraordinary cosmic evolution. And we all know that's cosmic with a K. And you can find out lots more about cosmic evolution. They've got lots of links available on ReverbNation.com forward slash cosmic with a K evolution. And one of the things I love to do is go and check out the lyrics of the songs that we play. And by the way, we have written permission from each and every artist to play their music. How cool is that? Now, Bart and Jody Christie are Cosmic Evolution and they write, and of course these are all copyright lyrics. Here and now I say, in my heart I stay, get in touch. Uh, my soul is rich, I feel my love, I feel my heartbeat, get in touch. Beat with love. Isn't that gorgeous? I just adore cosmic evolution. And a big shout out and a great big thank you to each and every person, uh, artist, for giving us this wonderful opportunity to play this music. We really, really love it. Thank you. Okay, we've got some requests for readings from the chat room. The first person we are going to is our gorgeous Joseph. Joseph, I've asked what it is that needs to be shared with you and the passage that's opened up is about guidance. So it's really important for you to follow your guidance. Lessons from the Source, page 45, reads... There is always help available to you. It is there for you in forms that you cannot yet imagine or remember because of the limitations of human consciousness. But it is unfailingly there. You must let go and trust. If you are open to your guidance, you will be given direction on appropriate ways to proceed in the direction of your good. At times... This may not make sense to you on a conscious level. But if you are truly in tune, in the flow, you will soon see how perfectly everything works together for good. Using your guidance must become instinctive, something that you do without even being conscious of it. Your body systems function in this way. You do the same thing when you are driving or eating or putting on your shoes. You don't need to con consciously ponder each step you take. And that is what's coming through for you from Lessons from the Source. And I'm, if you can hear me, I'm trying. I've got this massive, massive, and it's really heavy, um, basket. And it's full of my beautiful cards. And I'm going to pull a card out of that basket for you as well. Oh, look, in the Imagine card came up so it's about imagining using your imagination to really get in touch with your guidance Joseph um, when we imagine and go to I call it almost like a fairy tale land it's a beautiful place where all things are possible doable accessible and they're showing me that being in touch with your child is very very important to you and it's the way for you to continue on Joseph they're saying there seems to be from what I can pick up there seems to be a bit of seriousness um, I don't know whether you feel like you need to be doing things in a more serious way or whether um, I just don't know it's just there um, the seriousness so just really focus on your imagination and of course you can listen to this again and again because it's recorded on air now Joseph so that's really fantastic okay the next person we are looking at is Dee okay Dee let's see what message is going to come to you from Jack Armstrong's lessons from the source okay here it is there is no hurry there is no rush your timing is perfect. Be at peace and enjoy your day. Now, the other thing that they're saying is open another page. Okay. Claiming and accepting your good came up for you too, Dee. Um, it is far easier to accept the negative condition or state of mind as just the way it is than it is to reject and accept your good. When you have become successful at doing so on a regular basis, it will strike you as one of the great ironies 
that you were more comfortable with negativity than with goodness. And isn't this the way it is, D, for so many of us? But you will see that it is because the acceptance of negativity is much easier and requires far less effort on the part of your conscious mind than does the conscious decision to accept only your good. So this is a very important and empowering time for you, Dee, by the looks of what has been shared with you there. And I'm just going to pull out a card for you as well. And it comes all down to you for self-acceptance, which, of course, we know is such a huge thing on the planet. It's part of our conditioning to criticize ourselves, to criticize others. Um, but they're showing me that you have a really beautifully solid foundation from which you're growing and doing. And you are reaching for more and more and more of your good and for what you truly know that you deserve. So keep building on what you've begun. Keep going the way that you're going, they're saying. And, you know, allow the wings of freedom that are already attached to you, to your being, to carry you wherever you need to go, as far, as high, as wide, and as deep as you wish to go. It's all there for you. There is nothing that you cannot do. You have the capability. You have the opportunity. You have the structure already in place, they're saying. And on top of all of that, you're a very in intuitive person yourself. Okay. I hope that helps. Let's go and check the chat room and see what's happening in there. Okay. Looks like our wonderful Anne has had to... Oh, yep, Anne's had to go do other things. Thanks for being with us, Anne. Absolutely beautiful to spend some time with you as always. Now, I need to just go and check and see who else has asked for readings because um, I have been on the switchboard and, um, as you can tell... <laughs> doing different things at the same time and speaking doesn't come naturally okay so Karen it looks like you have also requested a reading yep we'll certainly get that going for you as well so next we have Kiwi 2011 Paul this is for you okay <sighs> cleanse your aura you have reached a point at which you can almost physically feel the weight of the negativity around you. You must free yourself from it. Take your hands and use them like brushes to sweep the negative energy away from the space around your body, especially from the waist up, in order to cleanse your aura and send the negative influences on their way. Do this for several minutes. Verbally reject the unwanted thoughts and influences. Then sit quietly and surround yourself with light. As you do so, claim your good in a forceful manner, using affirmations aloud to reinforce your claim. Know that you are entitled to unencumbered goodness. Refuse to allow the negative thoughts back in. You must be forceful and firm and know that your good is already there for you. Do this during the rest of the day and before you go to sleep tonight. If you are restless during the night, repeat, repeat the process again. And when you wake up in the morning, stake your claim to your good from the very first moment. You will soon be back in the flow, for the door is never closed to you. You can overcome this. Bless you. And that's on page 36. From Lessons from the Source by Jack Armstrong. And a card for you? Oh, tranquility. It is about making time to relax, be still, enjoy some solitude, um, and really give yourself a bit of a pamper, they're saying, Paul. What is it that you really love to do? Pamper yourself. I feel like you... <sighs> The feeling that's coming to me is that while you are already doing this, it's not enough. You need to take it to a new level. You need to really amp that process up and possibly drink more water. I feel like that would be very good for you. I hope that helps you. Okay, next on the list we have Karen. Karen, thank you. It's going to be wonderful to bring this message for you right now. 
Ooh, how about this? It's opened to the page 71, which says the mystical triangle. I don't know whether you heard Jack speak about this, Karen, so it's a good idea to go back and re-listen. It was toward the end of the first hour. Joy, peace and love are the qualities through which you not only access the essence of me to others, but... Hang on, I'm going to start that again and have a sip of water, excuse me. Okay. Joy, peace and love are the qualities through which you not only express the essence of me to others, but they also are the most effective way for you to attune yourself with me and with your good. There's a lot of stuff going on today, isn't there? Have you noticed that, guys, about accessing our good? Peace and love and joy are tied to each other. If you are longing for peace in your life, you probably will realize that you're not expressing joy or love at high levels either. So amp that up. You are God in expression. God is good. God is joy, peace and love. And of course, it's whatever word suits you. Um, you are good in expression. You are joy and peace and love in expression. Accept this reality. Live it and enjoy it. And a card to bring oh wow you're an activist look at this um saint Teresa is with you and i'm feeling the violet flame around you really strongly and it is about being this amazing activist i would really like to know more about how this sits with you karen it's about bringing forward that which you need to do and i know it takes courage i know it does and it takes even more courage to be an activist in a peaceful powerful way so please do call on St. Teresa and ask her to be your assistant in this manner, to be your mentor, to guide you and lead you and help you because she's around you very, very strongly. Thanks. Okay, anyone else in the chat room? Uh, would, have I missed anyone? Is there anyone who would now like to receive a reading, a, a message, I should say, a lesson from Lessons from the Source by Jack Armstrong? If so, just put your hand up in the chat room and that would be lovely to um, bring that forward, forward to you. Now, we're going to go to the chat, go uh, to the switchboard because I happen to know that we have our own wonderful Dream Master online. Hi, Dennis. Hey. Hey. <laughs> How are you? Good, good, good. How are you? I'm doing wonderfully. <laughs> That's better. I can hear you now. Hasn't it been a fabulous program so far? Uh, it has been. Uh, that was a wonderful guest. Jack was uh, awesome. Oh, look, you know, I follow Jack on um, Twitter and I've also, I have also follow him on Facebook and yeah. get his, receive his emails and I always feel nourished by them. I always do. Now, just before we go any further, we've only got about a minute until we're going to go to our next break. So yeah. what I might do is I might take us there a little bit early and um, then come back and, and, and chat with you. How's that sound? Yeah. Okay, brilliant. All right, so first of all, I'm going to take us to a spotlight, someone wonderful. Then I'm going to play I Am White Buffalo Calf Woman by Teresa Matthew. Just hold tight because we'll be right back. Chiara Tino is someone who understands the importance of balancing mind, body and spirit. And she dedicates her life to assisting us to live a more balanced life filled with passion and true inner peace. Awakenings for Life dot com dot au is where you can find out so much about Kiara and all the wonderful gifts that she brings to us. You can also find out more about her book, her CDs. Her book is wonderful, Awakening the Awareness Within, and it's now in MP3 format. You can also find more about her meditation CD and other works. Awakenings for Life Dot com dot au is your first stop to awaken your own life. Awakenings for Life dot com dot au.
Welcome back, everyone, to Angel Heart Radio on the Angel Heart Radio Network. That amazing song was, is called I Am White Buffalo Calf Woman by Teresa Matthew. And you can check out Teresa's music by going to Radiant Sounds. That sounds with an S, radiantsounds.org. Dot UK. It's a really fantastic site. You can hear lots of Teresa's um, amazing music and find out more about her. So please do go check that out. I'd like to welcome now our fabulous Dream Master One. Welcome, Dennis. How are you doing? And I was saying before, Dennis, that you have your own program right here in Blog Talk Radio, uh, The Big Picture. And if people go to Blog Talk Radio and search for Dream Master One, they will find your programs as well. Cool. Thank you. So what would you like to share with us about your experience of today's program and our fabulous guest, Jack Armstrong? Oh, no, that's um, awesome. Um, He's a, a beautiful soul and a beautiful spirit. And I'd like to share that I've become into realization in these past few weeks that we are coming into a remembrance of who we are and and our quote unquote sole purpose. And it's beautiful that we are able to experience this. Um you know, and I it's 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 so it's so beautiful. You know, it's been mentioned to me in these these past few weeks that um there are many old souls um, on this planet and there are many new souls per se that um, experience this human condition and we can talk etherically and we can talk physically so let me ask you now what's your definition of a new soul what's your definition it's been mentioned to me and I'm coming into remembrance myself Anaya and this term has been um, brought up to me actually more frequently is being walk-in and where um, we can walk in um, to this human experience Um, and you know very interesting um, um, walking from the etheric into the physical um, experiencing the human condition and bringing that experience back 
and to you, Sarah. And this is what I do. You know, we have many lessons to learn. The energy, and again, you know, we we are coming not not to get again, Anaya, not to get too too deep. <laughs> is that possible with you, Dennis? <laughs> <laughs> You know, with the galactic alignment and the whole bit, the 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 vortex within the shift and everything is exponentially occurring, um, and the changes that we are experiencing, and the lessons that we are learning, and I find it quite beautiful. You know, I find <laughs> is is that hum- humans are such a beautiful species, are such a beautiful beings. Mm, I've got to agree. Uh, and, you know, a lot of people may feel, because I don't know about you, Dennis, but sometimes people say to me, well, how can that? How can you feel that way, Anaya, when, you know, so many things happen on the planet? And, and my take on it is this, and then I'd like to hear your take, and then I'll go and um, give this reading, is my take is this, is that, yes, there are things that seem, that, seem to come from something far less than love. However, I see the bright spark in us all. You know, I do believe in the abounding greatness of humanity. I really, mm-hmm. truly do. How, mm-hmm. what, what does it mean for you? Well, this is the whole thing. Um, it's, it's being in balance. Uh, knowing our, our, our dark shadows or whatnot, there are, there are many um, energies around us. Um, you know, um, just to share, um, come a lot from fourth that come into third. Mm. You know, and and it's controlling and and in power. Um, yeah, but what I really want to know, I really want to know about what mm-hmm. you see, um, how you feel about humanity. You know, like what's your take on it? And we we do need to only have another minute on this one. Right. Uh, but fine. what's your? T- I want to know what you like. You know, people say to me, you know, but all this stuff's happening. How can you believe in people? I want to know, Dennis. How do you believe in people? What makes you believe in people the way you do? What is it that makes you believe in people the way you do? They have it within themselves to make a greater good of what is occurring around them. In this 3D, and they're, they, for the most part, uh, might not be aware of it. Um, they have it within themselves mm. um, to to do that and to change. Mm. I uh, agree. The timelines, yes, the timelines um, can be altered and. Because time, it, it's just so cool, Dennis. I've got to share with you, the, the guidance that came up today was on time uh, for angellight777.com, was on time. I love it when these things happen. So the timeline can be altered. Yes. Yeah. We can shift it. Yes, we can shift it. We can. And we are much more powerful than we realize, aren't we? Yes, we are. All in divinity. All in divinity. You're absolutely right. So I put the link in the chat room um, for the website. And if, if you go and have a look at today's guidance, it'll be yeah, go check it out because it was on time itself, so it was pertinent. I felt. Okay. Thank you so 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 much, Dennis. I've got to yeah. go do a couple of readings now so thank you for your insights and, and for sharing that with us and bringing up really interesting topics too right well you're welcome uh, you know I have so much to share and so much to offer and uh, you know. yeah I think yeah. we need to just get you on and let's have a program you know where you're my guest that would sure. be really cool don't you think yeah I'd love okay, it okay well let's, let's talk about it off air after the, after the program today and we'll set yeah. it up sure. okay cool Okay. See you back in the chat room. Thanks, okay. Tom. Yes. Bye. They were really interesting um, topics that Dennis brought up. And the term walk-in, um, if you guys, for some people may not be familiar with it. My understanding of a, of a walk-in is what I learned from Doreen Virtue. 
um, and that is sometimes there will be an agreement made between a soul in a body and a soul who wants to come in. That the soul in the body can go, can actually leave and go home. Um, there's no karma incurred. There's no debt to pay. It's you go home with honours, and the walk in will come in and take care of the whole life. You know, everything will continue on, but they will come in as um, in. <sighs> In one way of saying it is another soul, but of course, in truth, there is no such thing because we're all part of the one, the one greatness, the one love, the one light, the one creator spark. So I'm very interested to know what you guys think about that. Now we have a request for a reading for Heather in the chat room. Heather, this will be my great delight to bring it for you. Okay, let's see. Wow, you also got the mystical triangle. Heather, this is what my eyes are falling on on this page. It's page 73. The, equilat <laughs> the equilateral triangle of joy and peace and love personifies the essence of my spirit and my being. As you express your unity with me, you express these three qualities for they are inseparable. They are equally important and each is dependent on the other two. If you are powerful and loving, you must be joyous as well. If you are joyous and loving, your soul would be at peace. And if you are joyous and at peace, you will naturally exude love. Isn't that stunning? And the card that comes out quite naturally for you, Heather, is Archangel Raphael. As you are a healer on this planet as well. And the prayer is, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for supporting my desire to consume and use organic products. Now, we've been having conversations, Heather and I, and Heather is very into the healing tools the healing modalities heather is going to be a guest on my program as well she has a lot to share heather has a medical background herself and she embraces holistic health and heather has a beautiful talent that is not everyone has this talent heather can explain well for me anyway heather can explain a very tricky concept in a way that I totally get and understand and it makes sense to me. So this is going to be a really wonderful opportunity for people, for you guys, for your friends, your family, to gain a deeper understanding into your own health and what it means to be within a healthy structure in your own being. So that's Archangel Raphael. I'm feeling like there's another one for you. And again, it's tranquility. It's some really, really, really... Uh, necessary and needed time out and you know what I'm talking about I know you do again Archangel Archangel Raphael is within this and it's outside time for you as well there's a great big window in this card and the window is a little difficult to see out and I know that's because you need to go outside more there you go okay thank you oh Heather says I'm feeling so blessed and honored it's, so am I thank you is there anyone in the chat room who has missed um, receiving a reading that I haven't seen your message? If so, please do send it to me now and I will make sure that um, I pass the messages along for you that um, are waiting for you. But I'm going to do something that we don't normally do at this stage. I just feel I really want to take us into its three minutes of the open door meditation. Um, the entire meditation is available at angelheartradio.com in the shop. But this is one of my favorite meditations. Um, it's one that I have brought through from the angelic realms myself. It was one I really struggled with. I knew it was there and I knew it wanted to come through. And yet no matter how I tried, in inverted commas, it wouldn't flow. So in the end, I just got serious about it. And I said to the angels, if you really want this in... If you want it here, I'm handing it over to you because I was in the way, as Jack spoke about earlier, I was getting in the way and I sat back, I closed my eyes and I spoke the words they gave me in one take. It's about 20 minutes, the entire thing. Here's three minutes of it. So just breathe and relax and step through the open door into peace. 
We're going on a journey. Put down your books. Close your computer. Put the shopping list away. Leave your briefcase behind. There's absolutely nothing you need to bring. You're perfectly fine exactly as you are. It's time to just let everything fall away. All that matters is you and this time that we spend together just resting, relaxing and allowing. Look in front of you and you'll see a doorway. When you're ready, just walk over to the door and open it and then step through. Oh, it's so beautiful outside. The air is soft. The light is gentle. You can hear the birds singing in the background. And somewhere, you can hear water gently singing its song of rest and renewal. Look around you. What do you notice? And more importantly, how do you feel? Just check in with your body and notice if you're feeling any tension, any tightness, any heaviness. Because in this time that we're spending together, everything that does not serve you is going to be put gently down and then forgotten. Because right now, there is nowhere else you have to be. And there is absolutely nothing else that you have to do. You know, this has just been a wonderful experience for me because I just had this push to play that and it's a great opportunity to share with you how, you know, Jack was saying before that sometimes the guidance will come and we don't necessarily pay attention the first time around, so it'll come in another way. And that's what happened earlier on air when I was speaking with Dream Master. When I opened up my website, that began to play automatically. And I realize now it was giving me the opportunity to play it on air. There is a lot that goes on behind the scenes when I'm broadcasting and just listening to those few minutes has brought me back down into my heart I feel so much more centered I feel at peace and relaxed and so I love the way guidance works it's it's just beautiful I'm very grateful for the opportunities to you know bring forward these programs introduce you to amazing people from around the world you know these guests are just so gorgeous they have so many amazing things to say and to offer and to share books to read cds to listen to etc so it's a great experience for me like every day now i'm going to read i'm going to share with you uh, the guidance that went up today there's some new guidance that went up today and some archive guidance that went up today on angellight777.com. Now, the new guidance that went up today reads, The ebb and flow of time may seem mysterious to you. Think of a drop of water in slow motion. The way it seems to bounce as it connects with the surface 
and then integrates with a body of water. Now, think of time as you understand it. The same principle applies. No thing is separated. No one is ever alone, though they may feel so. No one, no person is ever without love, support, companionship or guidance. We hear, we see, we love you. We are your guiding light. Reach out to us. And the, inc oh, wait till you see the artwork. It is extraordinary. And it's an original from Julia Duante. The link is right there for you to go and have a look at the rest of her work. It's, I have used this image with Julia's written permission. So thank you very much to Julia. So there is today's guidance. That's angellight777.com and you will find the guidance um, tab in the menu. Okay, so who have we got next? Um, someone's asked for a reading and I have forgotten who it was now. Hang on a sec, guys. Let me go double check out. We've got Connie and Simon. Okay, Connie. From Lessons from the Source, don't give power to illusions. What are the factors that disturb your peace of mind and heart? They are factors that you have given the power to do so. In and of themselves, these people or conditions or circumstances have no power over you unless you grant it to them. The conscious mind is a powerful instrument. If it is attuned with me, it can work wonders for good in your life. If it falls out of attunement and gives power to one or more forms of negativity, it can be a powerful force for blocking your access to the good that is yours. Oh, what an amazing message, Connie. And the card for you is, oh, this is a very interesting one. The card itself is a Marianne Williams card. It says, respect yourself. You're the best judge of what's right. So I feel that, okay... It's almost like someone is raining on your parade when I look at the picture on this card. And they want you to know that, yes, you do. You have the power to swim straight out of it, you know. You are like an amazing mermaid. You can float in the water. You can swim deep. You can swim on the surface. You can swim just under the surface. You have so many channels, amazing channels open to you to move out of any stream of energy that does not support your highest good, your highest intention, and your true magnificence as a being on this planet. <sighs> that was beautiful. Thank you for asking. Next, we have Simon. Let's have a look what's going to come out for Simon. Simon, it's about flow for you. To struggle is to work too hard at what you... <laughs> Excuse me. To struggle is to work too hard at what should come naturally. Let it flow, whatever the situation or whatever the need. It goes on in the next paragraph to say, you have noticed how frequently the word flow is used in conjunction with your consciousness. Think of and feel the gentle, steady, perfect flow of a stream or river or even water coming from the tap. Now, Simon, isn't this amazing? We've just finished reading the guidance on Angel Light Triple Seven, and it's about the same thing. It's about the, using water as a metaphor. Uh, your reading on page 43 on Lessons from the Source continues. Uh, so thinking about it as water coming from the tap, it is ceaseless unless you make a special effort to stop it. You can dam up or stream a river and you can consciously turn off the water at the tap. It is exactly the same with your good. It's always there. It is always flowing to you and through you and with you. And all you need do is accept it, to go with the flow. It is that simple. Simply accept your good and flow with it. Do not ask why. Do not question or ponder. 
Let the stream of goodness flow naturally through your life and simply accept that it is there, that it is good and that is right. Now I've actually extended the show so there's plenty of time everyone. A card for you, oh Simon, this is about working very closely with your guardian angels. Now I'm going to go back and have a look at the guidance because it seems to me that this is also in alignment. Uh, we are your guiding light, they say, and the guardian angel card out, came out for you. It's, I feel like there are three directions that you can take, three major directions. It's almost like you feel like you've come to a brick wall, to um, a stop. You're not quite sure how to start or which way to go. They're showing me three major directions. Every single one of those is going to lead you where you need to go in different ways, but each one will lead you on. The one, uh, when I look at this card, I'm seeing three archways, and that's where I'm getting the three directions they're showing me. And when I look at from the left hand side, the, the left archway, I don't know if this has any significance for you, I feel like that will be the most emotional one. It will be the biggest road you can take but it will get you there the fastest and you will learn everything you need to know very, very quickly. So it's entirely up to you. Each road will lead you where you need to go. You can't make um, a mistake. You can't take the wrong road. They're saying, please relax. Is this making sense to you, Simon? Please relax and let it flow. You're amazing and perfect and powerful and wonderful. And I'm now going to... Um, oh, I love this one too. This is a message that went up today from the archives in angellight777.com. There's a, a few years of, of messages in the archives, and this is one of them from May... Uh, May, June 2010, it went up today and it's for you, Simon. And it says, you are the bearer of messages, of peace, of hope, of healing vibrations. By pinpointing that, sorry, by pinpointing that which you want, more will appear in your experiences. By pinpointing that which you don't want, more of that will appear in your experiences. And that flows very, very well from your guidance with lessons from the source. And um, Christiane, oh, Christiane, I, I actually don't know how to pronounce your last name. Please go to angellight777.com, go to the guidance page and scroll down until you see the art by Christiane. The, uh, the link for her gallery is there. It is extraordinary and again it's used with kind permission okay back to the chat room what have we got going on oh dream master sent me a beautiful message thank you so much i really appreciate you and simon says it is making sense a lot fantastic i'm really really pleased about that okay so we now have a few minutes up our sleeves to do pretty much as we like does anyone have any requests for music requests for anything at all out of the chat room we have plenty of time to take a few requests in the meantime i'm going to take us out to a break while you're thinking about it and you know we're going to go back to faith rivera and this is called let it out <laughs> More strength than I've known I have within me Greater talent to express More courage I can muster More faith that I can show Oh, I am ready Turn it loose, turn it on I'm gonna bring it on Let it shine, let it soar Be brighter than before Dancing sing, do my thing I'm gonna bring it
Oh, yeah. Faith Rivera. Let it out. And isn't that perfect for everything we've been speaking about today? Let it out. Come on, everyone. Let out your amazing goodness, your insight, your talent, your wisdom, your light. Let it out. Joseph in the chat room has asked for a cosmic evolution number. So let's go and play one of my all-time favorite cosmic evolution uh, tracks. What if my eyes... Now, that's actually Anthony Burbridge. We'll play him next. What if I loved everyone? Cosmic evolution. Here we go. Cosmic Evolution. This is just fantastic. It's fantastic. I'm so excited and so loving the fact that we have this opportunity to play some requests. We've got a request for Kaz Nathan. Kaz Nathan Starchild, as everyone knows, is just one of my favorite people in the entire universe. So we're going to play Kaz Nathan, We're in Love, and then we're coming back with something brand new for Angel Heart Radio. We have him for the Universal Light Worker to play. So let's go listen to Kaz Nathan Starchild, We're in Love, and you can check out Kaz on YouTube. Just go to youtube.com forward slash Kaz, K A S S N A, or of course, angelheartradio.com has all Kaz's links on every single page on the right hand side. We're in Love by Kaz Nathan Starchild.
We're in love by Kaz Nathan Starchild and an extra special thank you to Simon Swain in the chat room for requesting that fabulous piece of music. Okay, we have, as I said, something brand new to our switchboard that I want to share with you now. This is him for the Universal Lightworker by Anthony Burbridge and it's from his album The First Light. So have a listen to this and remember... It's for all of us light workers, you, me, us all. This is a hymn for every light worker around the world, for every one of you whose voice has not been heard. Him to give you faith to rise above all the things we wish mankind had not become. This is a hymn to remind you to There's a hymn for every child living everywhere around the world, for each of you whose voice will someday soon be heard. This is a hymn to give you faith, to heal mankind, to bring a love so bright its light won't be denied. This is a hymn. Anthony Burbridge, I'm getting, <laughs> again, I'm feeling so emotional by listening to those empowering, beautiful, incredible lyrics. Anthony Burbridge is so easy to find. Um, you go to Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Anthony, B-U-R-B-I-D-G-E, and of course, anthonyburbage.com. His website is beautiful. Why not stop by on Facebook and say hello? Let him know uh, if his music touched you, inspired you, empowered you, or if you've just enjoyed it, because it's just a wonderful piece of music. Wow, look, there's been amazing things going on in the chat room all day long. And now the sharing that's going on in here is incredible about what it means to come together and to bring love and peace and joy uh, to our friends, to our universal family. Gorgeous sharing. Simon Swain, Connie, we've got Heather, Joseph Smith is in there. But there's a beautiful beautiful sharing going on I want you to know how much it means to me to know that I've been able to facilitate a space where we can come together like this it's just so brilliant and, and wonderful and, and wow 
I want to take this opportunity now to play you a piece of music and it's a great opportunity for you guys to begin to, to discover guests that I'm about to have very soon. This is called Awakening by Samyana and Samyana are going to be my special guests on February 14 in Australia, New Zealand and uh, parts of Europe and that will be the 13th for you guys in the USA you, uh, and um, Canada, I beg your pardon, etc. This is called Awakening by Samyana. It's coming. beautiful the piece the exquisite piece I feel listening to that and you can find Samyana very easily at samyana.com and that is spelled S-A-M-J-J-A-N-A and let's now listen to and this is a world exclusive by the way everyone this album's not even out yet uh, we have permission to play these amazing amazing pieces of, of music this is Love by Samyana Fear feeds fear. Love feeds love. Feast on a banquet of love. Love, 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 love.
about love. It's all about love. And it's how we express it and feel it and share it. it and it leads us straight into this. This is Flow by Samyana. When you do things from your soul, you feel a river moving in you, a joy.
Dennis Deitch, thank you so much for being my special co-host these past few weeks. And I look forward to you guys discovering all that's on Angel Heart Radio at angelheartradio.com. I've now included buttons on each and every show that offers free readings. And remember that Chiara Tino and Awakening for Life offers free readings and free dream interpretation. Her uh, email address is there. All you've got to do is go email your dream to her beforehand and she'll read it out on the show for you. So coming up on Angel Heart Radio tomorrow, we have Angel Link, the voice of humanity. What a great show. So soul communication and healing. Special guests are Marnie Perna, um, Angel Link's resident beautiful um, kinesiologist, and the power of soul.com's Master Marilyn Smith. So it's about having those deeper connections with the soul, with our soul. The healing, listening to what our body is talking to us, readings in the final hour, it's all there. Check out angelheartradio.com and you will know what's on, when it's on, and the buttons are all there. All you've got to do is click. Ah, thanks everyone. Um, Simon's saying it's been such a wonderful show. Thank you, Kiwi. Um, 2011, thank you for being with us and for really enjoying the show. Connie's saying it was the best. <laughs> thank you so much. It's been fun, hasn't it? We've still got a couple of minutes left to go, so it's time for me to say, remember <laughs> to be really kind to you, to love you and honour you and take good, good care of you. And remember that your opinion about your life is the only one that matters. Your true guidance knows. You have a deep well of wisdom. Tap into that. It's always there. So, you know, when you're in your head, just imagine falling down into your heart space and listening what it is that your heart's wisdom wants to share with you today. Until next week. I will bid you adieu. Remember, we've got lots coming up on Angel Heart Radio and I look forward to catching up with you all on Facebook. Lots of love. And remember, please do come and like us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Angel Heart Radio. Love you all. Bye. You've been listening to another fabulous program on the Angel Heart Radio Network. We thank you for your company today and invite you to join us again. You can find out who's on, when they're on, and who our guests are simply by going to angelheartradio.com. All the links are there. Everything's just one click away. Until we meet again, remember this, that you are magnificent a wonderful creation and no one can do what you can do. You're very, very special indeed and we appreciate who you are in the world. Until next time, keep shining your light for it's beautiful indeed.